In this video, you're going to learn how to use the match function in Excel to return the position of a value in an array of values. I'll show you how to do it using exact, next smallest or next largest matches, and also how to use the match function horizontally and vertically. And if you'd like to know how to use this function in combination with the index function, check out the link to our video in the description below. Also, if you'd like a copy of the template I use in this video, just click on the link in the description. Okay, so grab yourself a copy and we'll go to Excel and find out how this is done. Okay, so over here in Excel, what we're going to do is we're going to find out the position of some values over here in this array of employee numbers over here. And we're going to find the exact match we're also going to find the next smallest and the next largest match. And then we're going to see what happens if we put in no match type. And then in the end, I'll just show you that you can use the match function horizontally as well as vertically. All right, so the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to find the position of 1002 with an exact match. So to get that started over here in cell H2, we'll just type in equals match and open the brackets. So the first thing that the function wants is the lookup value and the lookup value is going to be here. We'll just click on cell G2, so that's our reference and comma. The lookup array is over here. So I'll we'll just run the mouse over there and select the array and press comma. Okay, so now we get down to the match type, which as you can see is optional because it's in square brackets and it's asking us if we want less than exact or greater than. And to make our selection, we either need to type in a one, a zero or a minus one. So for this first example, we're going to do an exact match. So we'll type in zero and then we'll close the brackets and press enter. All right, so the result that we get is one. So what that's telling us is that value 1002 is in the first position in the array over there that we've selected. So it's the first value going from the top to the bottom. So what if we typed in say 1004 instead, then we get the result of two because 1004 is in the second position from the top to the bottom. And if we typed in 1003, we get an error because 1003 is not in there. So it can't match it up and give us a result. Okay, so I'll just put that back to 1002. All right, now we'll move on to the next example. So we're going to do the same thing, except this time we're going to use the less than match type and we're going to be looking up the value 1009. And as you can see, it's not actually in that array. So let's just see what happens. Okay, so we'll just grab our lookup value and we'll grab our array over here. Okay, so the match type this time is going to be less than, which is one, and we'll close it off. Now you can see it's given us the result of four. So even though 1009 is not actually in that array, what it's done is it's given us the position of the next lowest number, which is 1008, and 1008 is in position four. So if I typed in 1008, it's still going to be position four because it's found the exact match. If I type in 1007, it's given us position three because it hasn't found 1007. So it's gone to the next lowest number, which is 1006, and that's in position three. Okay, so that's how that one works. I'll just put that back. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing again, except this time we're going to use the greater than match type. So the value is here, the array is here. Okay, and now the match type is minus one for greater than, and we'll close it off and we get an error message. Okay, so this time it has found an exact match of 1010, but it's given us an error message. And the reason is that if we're going to use the greater than match type, 
the array over here needs to be sorted in descending order. At the moment, it's in ascending order. So we would need to go through and sort this in descending order. So if we go like that, I just right clicked on there to bring up this menu and then I'll sort largest to smallest. And I'll just continue with the current selection. Okay, so now you can see it's gone through and found the number 1010 and told us that it's in position number seven. So let's change that to 1009. And again, it's saying it's in position seven because it hasn't found it. And then it's just gone to the next number up, which is 1010. And that's position seven. So let's try a totally different one. Let's try 1019 like so. And that's in position two because it hasn't found it and it's just gone to the next one up, which is 1020 and that's in position two. Okay, now you may have also noticed that when I changed the order from ascending to descending, this result up here changed to an error message. And that's because the less than match type needs the list to be sorted in ascending order. And I just resorted it to descending order. All right, so when I change this back, if I come over here and sort and smallest to largest, Okay, so now you can see that the less than match type works again and the greater than match type doesn't work. So you need to make sure you've got the order right, ascending or descending, if you're going to use less than or greater than as your match type. All right, so let's see what happens when we put in no match type. So that's our value there. That's our array. And this time we'll just close it off and we get four. So the reason we get four is because if we go back in here and press comma, the less than match type is the default. So if you don't put anything in there at all, it will default to less than, which is as if we put the number one in there. So I'll just escape out of there Okay, and so if we change this to 1007, so that's the one when we had less than, and change this one as well, you can see that we get the same result. So the function where we've got no match type is doing exactly the same as the function where we've got less than as the match type. So that tells you that less than is the default. It acts in the same way. Okay, so that's how it all works. I'll just finish off by showing you that you can do this horizontally as well. So we'll get that value there. And this time our array will be horizontal along here. And we'll just put exact in and close it off. Okay, so we've got January there at position one in that array. And if we change that to February, that would change the result to two. If we change that to March, that would change that result to three. So it just works in the same way as it did vertically, except that's horizontally. Okay, so that's how you can use the match function on its own in Excel. If you want to use it in combination with the index function, which is a great substitute for VLOOKUPs, then check out the link in the description below.